Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I discuss what is neural tube and how it is formed. So, this is ectoderm. A thickening is formed um, at the ectoderm. This is known as the neural plate. Soon, a groove is developed within it. This is known as the neural groove, and in two sides, these are the neural fold. Tissue of the neural fold start to detach from this rest of the neural plate and from neural crest and rest of the neural group is come to start closer and they successfully unite and from the neural tube you see this neural crest is detached and rest of the ectoderm also detached from the neural tube and is from surface ectoderm so at first the union of the two neural fold occur at the cervical region at the fifth somite site and leaving two neuropore this is cranial neuropore this is caudal neuropore at the 25th uh, day of intrauterine life the cranial neuropore is successfully closed and caudal neuropore close within 28 days so leaving a tube like structure soon the cranial end of this tube is dilated and from three vein vesicle telencephalon mesencephalon sorry prosencephalon mesencephalon and rhombencephalon the telencephalon is uh, prosencephalon is converted into two vesicle the telencephalon and diencephalon uh, prosencephalon from mid vein and rhombencephalon is converted into two vesicles metencephalon and myelencephalon um, this is the cavity of the neural tube and it's uh, from here the uh, lateral ventricle this is the third ventricle and this is the fourth ventricle and this is the connection between fourth ventricle and third ventricle this is the cerebral equiduct and the caudal portions of the neural tube is Neumann nano as in it is converted into spinal cord. So the structure derived from the neural tube, uh, the prosencephalon, telencephalon is converted into cerebrum, diencephalus is converted into mm, thalamus, hypothalamus and two uh, cavity, lateral ventricle and third ventricle. And uh, mid vein mesencephalus is converted into mid vein a tiny portions of the brain and the cavity of the mid vein known as the cerebral liquid duct and hind vein rhombencephalon is converted into metencephalon myelencephalon from metencephalon pons and cerebellum is developed and from myelencephalon levindula oblongata is developed and cavity within the rhombencephalon is fourth ventricle and from from brain uh, two nerves is arises olfactory and optic and mid brain oculomotor trochlear and rest of the nerve is uh, attached with the hind brain uh, so uh, histology of the neural tube uh, the neural tube is formed by the stratified columnar epithelium and uh, these cells are mitotically active and new uh, neuron is produced from this layer and known as the neuroblast this neuroblast is migrate outward and from a layer this is known as the mantle layer the processes of the newly formed neuroblast is formed and they created another layer this is the marginal layer so the mantle layer is um, convert it into four mass of tissue the uh, tissue in between to uh, in between the roof plate is known as the alert plate and uh, tissue in between the floor uh, plate this is known as the basal plate so in spinal cord the um, alert plate is converted into uh, the whole mantle layer is converted into gray matter of the spinal cord and whole marginal layer is converted into white matter of the spinal cord 
alert plate is uh, deal the sensory system and it's um, form the dorsal horn of the spinal cord and basal plate from the ventral horns of the spinal cord and uh, the cavity of the neural tip is converted into central canal the most of the area of the spine uh, uh, all area of the spinal cord and some area of the uh, brain stem this uh, pattern of uh, development is observed except the cerebrum and cerebellum what happened in the cerebrum and cerebellum you know the uh, cerebrum and cerebellum contain outer gray matter inner white matter how this happened uh, this is the neural wall of the neural tube uh, stratified columnar epithelium here mitotically new cell is produced this is new um, neuroblast they are confined within the mantle layer the processes of the newly formed neuroblast is from the marginal layer and this marginal um, layer uh, contains some neuroblasts how because the um, some cells of the neuroblast is migrate and rest within the marginal layer and some neuroblasts remain within the mantle layer and they convert it into nucle basal nuclei or nuclei of the cerebellum and the rest of the neuroblasts which migrate into the marginal layer from the gray matter of the cerebellum and cerebrum so this is all about uh, development of the neural tube Thank you for watching.